This is ABC 7 News. Developing news tonight. If you're wasting water, prepare to pay up. This is horrifying. An Alabama man believes burglars did more than just rob his home. He thinks the crooks smoked his wife's ashes. Mm -hmm. pg and &E is investigating what may be the first power outage in San Francisco that was caused by a drone. The question, mm -hmm. do you want the extended warranty? Do you? Do you? Well, you do, don't you? You do. Right. It is staggering even is. just to, to contemplate. I'm Larry Beal. That Powerball frenzy is heating up. Only hours left until the big drawing. ABC 7 News reporter Vic Lee is live at one of the lucky retailers where people have been lining up all day. Vic, did you buy a ticket in there? Of course I did. Spencer Christian, not in the office pool to no. this point. Uh, if I had Spencer's money, uh, I'd burn mine. Uh, so, you know, well, what's the nice. big deal to him? Don't but... worry, Spencer's already burned his. Yeah. Too. <laughs> I think people are playing really more out of fear at this point. Not that they expect to win, but they don't want to be the only person that has to come back to work the next That's day. Because everybody else is done. They're That's finished. An excellent... California Governor Jerry Brown had very sobering words today on the subject of global warming. Brown said humans are setting in motion changes in the weather that could become catastrophic. We're playing Russian roulette. Brown did not give an overly optimistic outlook. He says even if California is able to eliminate all of its production of greenhouse gases, it would only impact 5% of the global problem. He called on greater cooperation with other states and countries to avoid a global environmental disaster. And for most of us, climate change, eh, it's old news. You hear about it, you read about it, and then you go on to living your normal daily lives. Then you get a report out like the one that was released today by the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, and it kind of rattles the nerves a little bit. ABC 7 News reporter Wayne Friedman joining us now. Uh, tax day is rapidly approaching, so this is important. The government watchdog says more than 20,000 taxpayers have been targeted by fake IRS agents in what they're calling the largest phone scam that the agency has ever seen. The IRS inspector general says people posing as agents call taxpayers telling them they owe money. They demand payment using a prepaid debit card or a wire transfer. A grieving father's request received an overwhelming response from people, most of them total strangers from all over the world. Nathan Steffel's daughter, Sophia, lived only six weeks, spending her entire life in a hospital. This was the only picture that he had of his little baby girl. The Ohio father asked Reddit users to remove the tubes from the picture using Photoshop, and the response was unbelievable. Take a look now. Steffel says, it wasn't just the pictures he received, but all of the kind words from people who had similar experiences that truly touched him. We have more information and more pictures on our website at abc7news.com. With live breaking news. And the breaking news is the wild scene happening by the UCLA campus. The steps you just saw are in front of the famed basketball arena, the Pauley Pavilion, and it is essentially underwater outside that area of campus right now. A water main break has caused massive flooding. It's stranded cars and people in underground parking structures and the water just keeps gushing and gushing and gushing and even pieces of asphalt are now flying into the air because this thing is probably 20 or 30 feet high. A memorial service on the UC Santa Barbara campus is underway right now. This is a live picture that you are looking at. On a personal note, my daughter happens to go to UC Santa Barbara and as a parent, I can tell you there is nothing more chilling than hearing uh, what happened in detail over this past weekend. Uh, thankfully, she was no we're uh, near the site uh, of the maniacal uh, gunman. Again, with uh, Justin Bieber, that show starts at 7.30, so they do have yet another hour to the go. Timberlake, not Bieber. I don't want to get all the Oh, yeah, Bieber just, the just, just, just <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's been a long day. I, I, don't, I don't want the believers <laughs> after yeah, really, us. If you have a fear of heights, this is absolutely scary just to watch. This guy is one of the two window washers who had to be pulled up from a 24-story high-rise in Oakland today because the platform malfunctioned. Now take a look right here. He's not even touching the building. He's just dangling out there. They did have him in a double harness just to be safe and make sure they could yank him up. But we want you to take a look at this picture that was tweeted out by Neil Parrish. The window washer is actually smiling here. He has no fear at all. It's hard to see because the photo's a little backlit. He's in the shadows, but he was actually smiling. Uh, some restaurant workers in New Jersey will be checking their numbers more closely tonight after their major Powerball mix-up. 
We're rich! <laughs> yeah, the workers thought they'd won the jackpot Saturday night as they read the numbers off the Powerball website. Two people even quit their jobs oh, on the spot. I am so no. out of here! Uh, turns out they had what would have been a winning ticket the week before. Oh. They were reading the winning numbers from the previous drawing. <laughs> I will slink back to the yeah. French fry maker now. Sorry about that quitting and all. <laughs>